thankfully, Bob Nelson has decided to quit, which leaves the school board with, again, their most important decision as trustees. Uh, one of the most monumental decisions a school board will make is who they choose as the next superintendent. Now, there's been recent reporting uh, about uh, some of the opinions of the school board members. Now, this is their decision, but some of them have said they want to actually close off the process and only consider candidates that are internal. And I'm here along with Councilman Bredefeld, and we're going to talk about this. I'm strongly encouraging uh, they follow the lead of the school board president they elected and actually open the process up to at least statewide. Fresno Unified is the third largest district in the state of California. And the reason why we're here today and we care is because our success as a city is absolutely tied to Fresno Unified. It is a very, very important institution to Fresno. The next Fresno Unified superintendent should not be hired based on race, sex, or the color of their skin color. The next superintendent must be a change agent, must have a record of results, must have the strength to stand up to the teachers union leadership, must have the clear-eyed focus on teaching children the basics of reading, math, science, English, and not critical race theory and a bunch of destru destructive woke crap. This, that means engaging in a real statewide and national search for the most qualified superintendent to turn this school district around. I encourage them to do the right thing so they don't fail these 70,000 kids again. Thank you.